The rock and roll music world lost a good one today. Eddie Money dreamed of becoming a police officer, but ended up recording some of the biggest hits of the 70s and 80s. Tonight, NBC's Joe Fryer takes a look back. His look and sound epitomize the 70s and 80s. Born Edward Mahoney, he initially trained to follow in his father's footsteps as a New York police officer before changing his name to Eddie Money and chasing his musical dreams. I think I'm in love. He produced 12 albums and multiple hit songs. Basically, I was always into rock and roll, and it really drove my parents crazy because I always played the records loud. Including the tune that inspired this Geico commercial. So we all set? I've got two tickets to paradise. Money's family says he died peacefully today at age 70 and will live on forever through his music. Joe Fryer, NBC News. Well, Money was definitely a rock icon. And earlier tonight, I had the opportunity to talk to his former drummer and Western New York native, Gary Mulliber, about what it was like to work with Eddie. Funny guy, kind heart. He was really a rock and roller, but he wasn't anywhere near being dangerous or mean or anything of what a stereotype would have been during those years. Eddie had a, a sensibility of entertainment to him. And I remember when we were discussing how we were going to go about knocking out that first record that really carried his career. Uh, and I, talking with Bruce Botnick and we were discussing, you know, how we were going to attack it. And I told Bruce... In, in many words, I said, you know, Eddie's a little more than a rock singer. He's He really understands R&B and he understands blues and he really gets it. Well, Malibur was the main studio and tour drummer for Eddie Money for most all of his early recordings. He is a Lafayette High School grad still working and living in L.A.